So three, two, one. It is time to pull uh, Caribena versus Color Exec, and the biggest question is, do we feel lucky? And I already explained the funny situation in regards to this enclosure and how the tarantula is using it. Uh, you see, I fixed the enclosure kinda, although yeah, that was nice. But you know that she used to be here in this tunnel. Then she briefly moved into actual cork bark. She also webbed it up, and you see webbing from this side. But she is no longer there. She is no longer using any part of the actual enclosure but what she figured out is that the background is no longer connected with the back so it actually moved away and she used that option and she used that fact to actually make a hide in that behind the background you see she's right there and i believe she can squeeze from here because i spotted her on occasion outside so that means that she can go in and out but i mean seriously from all the space in here she decided to go behind the background but what can you do tarantulas do what they think it's best or what they maybe in fact that is the best for her at least yeah i, I don't know whatever but i spotted this exec on first of last month so that means more than today is 8 of the may so that means more than 30 days passed since I spotted the exec and perhaps she made that exec uh, more than a few days earlier because I wasn't checking her every day. So out of that I can now kind of safely conclude that this exec should contain hopefully eggs with legs. I don't think that they actually molted. And I'm not really sure but it seems that the exec is got a bit more plums that, than it used to be so that also tells me that that could be the case. So without any more talk let's open this up and try to grab try to snatch that exec what i don't really like is that i need to destroy everything by removing this top part oof and it is holding really really well i think that i need to destroy it first with tweezers all this webbing and also webbing that is connected with the top lid so yeah let's do that and it kind of saddens me to do this because tarantula did so much work she put so much work into creating this tunnel and now i'm just destroying it in a matter of few seconds yeah, see, this webbing is really, really strong. It is an amazing material and before we actually go further, I have this letter that I need to open. So before I forgot about that, before I forget about it, let me just open it and see what it is inside. Mm, this is sweet, look at this. Can you actually see it? Maybe I show it on this camera. I received sweet stickers from a subscriber that she actually made and it is from, where is your name? Rarity? First time hearing this name to be honest. Thank you for this. And she's actually creating uh, these sketches and posting it on the Instagram, on the Instagram named The Spider Sanctum. So go ahead and check it out. And these are really cool. And she asked me if I can guess the species, but <laughs> seriously. Pizzoteria Metallica, of course. This should be Caribena Versicolor, as we have it right here. Then this should be Cyriocosmos Elegans. There is a heart shape right there. And this should be, I think, Brahepelma Emilia. Hmm, let me just check. Yeah, it could be, although mine doesn't have a carapace that is that orange, but maybe it's some other species. Hmm. Anyhow, thank you so much, they are really sweet. Now back to this business. As I said, I also need to remove... That webbing is also connected with the top lid and it... Yeah, you see, I cannot pull it off. I need to destroy it. I should be able to open it now. Nope, still stuck. What is this? Looks like there is more webbing. Yeah. Now it goes off. There we go. Now I'm really, really sorry for doing this. There is no other way. There is the exit, you see? Right there. That's the price. And if you're wondering why we need to take uh, exec from the mother, there are multiple reasons. First reason is it is if the exec hatches inside of the enclosure, it is really, really, really hard. I mean, much harder to get all the slings outside. And also there is a chance if you don't close off the ventilation holes, the slings can just escape the enclosure. So you also need to fill the holes, I mean, close off the holes and then struggle with getting the, each individual outside. The second thing is if there are some bad eggs inside of that exec, there is chance that they will uh, spread, I mean, they will destroy the other healthy eggs around that bad egg sac. So by opening that egg sac earlier, uh, there is a chance that you will be able to save more, more slings that way. And maybe there are some other benefits, but I don't really know. She's now moving a bit 
and if we are super quick, I think that we can snatch it with one quick motion. Stay mum. Goodbye. So three, two, one. Oh no, 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 let it go. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, 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 please. I need two hands. I definitely need two hands. Let it go, let it go, let it go. There. Got it. And it feels, it feels super fluffy and light. I don't know if it is good, but we will see. And sorry for taking your potential kids, but uh, that is always the saddest part. Let's open it. Actually, before that, I want to give her, try to give her a roach to see if she will take it. And that way, maybe, maybe feel a bit better. Oh yeah, she grabbed it, awesome. And she's most likely being super hungry and in dire needs for some protein. So I think that that's the, the good idea to do. Now time for a big reveal to see if this is any good. So many layers to open. Ooh, it is a good one. Look at this, they are just starting to open up and transforming from eggs to eggs with legs. So it would be ideal if I did this like a few days later, but it is not a problem. When I opened my first successful egg sack from Annie, uh, the eggs were also in the same stage. So yeah, let's uh, get them out of there. Uh, I need to get something, just a second. This is the same cup I used for slings from Hysterocratis Gigas, if you remember. So the procedure is like this. We add water to this bottom cup, like that. Yeah. Then we have this second cup that got a lot of holes on bottom. We put that on top like that. Then we put some napkin on the bottom, some napkin on the sides, or maybe, no, nah, we don't need sides. Add some water to the napkin, not too much though. And then just get all the eggs from the egg sack in that cup here. Still some stuck to the side. You see, tiny eggs with legs. Cool, cool, cool. Is that the last one? Yeah. There we go. These are all the eggs. And I think that this time I would like to count them. So I will write the, the amount that there is inside right here somewhere. So you can see. And currently there is only one bad egg but there is a bunch of currently unhatched one, the ones that didn't open. We will see what the total number will be, but currently this is looking really, really good. I'm super happy and super hyped. Uh, I will put a macro lens for a second, so you can have a closer look at the eggs with legs to see how they are developing. And then we can, we will be able to compare them later to see if they got, if they changed a bit. Here they are, you can see that they are not completely open they just started to open so they aren't moving or anything but in a day or two they should open significantly more but this is looking really really nice i can't wait to have a lot of avicularia slings i mean what am i saying carbena versicolor slings they used to be avicularia versicolor because they are adorable when they are small so i will add a bit more humidity to the sides remove this one bad egg it is completely dry which is a good thing close it off and you will be updated uh, as they develop. Now let me check how she's doing. Thankfully, see, she's completely occupied with that roach. That was a really good thing to do when she was in a panic mode searching for an egg sack because it seemed like she now no longer cares about the egg sack and doesn't. I don't really know what is on Tarantula's mind, but it seems that she no longer minds the fact that she no longer have an egg sack, which is the best thing. Now, I'm going to put her back on her place and bring you something else. We have also another exciting news and if you are following me on the Instagram, you already know what is up. This is the enclosure that houses uh, ex Brahipelma now Tlil Tokatel Albu... Uh, wagons? What am I saying? Tlil Tokatel Wagons. She's inside and you see, she closed off her burrow, also closed off the entrance here. And when she did that, I started watering her enclosure significantly more than I used to because, you know, we paired this girl, uh, I don't know when, but a long time ago we paired her and that pairing looked promising. So I wanted to see if I can trigger her to make an egg sack. And what you look at that right here, you can see her holding an egg sack. Uh, you cannot really see it very well, but yeah, this white stuff under her, that is an 
XX, so sweet, right? More potential babies. Even though this XX looks a bit <laughs> weird, to be honest, it's, yeah, I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully it will be a successful one and you know, in a month or so we are going to pull it just like we pulled this one and then we will know. But that was everything for this video. It was a successful video, I must say. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!